governor begins building an 800-mile stretch of high-speed rail from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Tonight, the blizzard of 2015 crushing the East Coast. And the top ratings agency has slashed Russia's credit grade to junk status. Shake Shack owing public today and investors just cannot get enough. At least 12 are dead after armed gunmen attacked the offices of a satirical newspaper in Paris. Nestle has pledged to become the first major candy producer to eliminate all artificial colors. World Health Organization has released a new set of guidelines advising people to consume less sugar. Kraft Foods Group and H.J. Heinz Co. announced that the two companies will combine with revenues around $28 billion. We're going to talk about milk. Quotas for the first introduced in Europe for more than 30 years ago will be removed at the start of next month. An executive order mandating substantial water reduction across our state. Walmart, the world's largest retailer, recently partnered with Wild Oats brand to sell organic foods at non-organic prices. Hillary Clinton has just announced that, surprise, she's running for president. PepsiCo's revamped Diet Pepsi without aspartame. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Economic Research Service says food prices should rise 4% across the board, with meat and dairy prices leading the way deadly earthquake in Nepal. It killed around 4,000 people and the death toll is still rising. David Letterman's 33-year run as host of The Late Show came to an end last night. It was a night filled with Hollywood stars. A federal appeals court refused to allow President Obama's immigration deferred action plan. Top football officials have been arrested over corruption charges. And hackers breached the database containing private files of tens of thousands of U.S. government workers. It's finally the one! American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown! The FDA is expected to announce this week that it will ban all artificial trans fats. We need somebody that literally will take this country and make it great again. Brian Williams, anchor and managing editor of Nightly News, has been suspended by NBC management for six months without pay. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. The Department of Justice finalizes a record $20.8 billion settlement involving British energy giant BP for its catastrophic Gulf of Mexico oil spill. The first solar-powered airplane is flying over our heads. The town of Utrecht, the starting point, Tour de France. The... For the second time in his career, Chris Froome has won the Tour de France. Victory! The U.S. women's national team hoisting their trophy high. After a voyage of three billion miles, the New Horizons spacecraft is just about 20 minutes away from flying by Pluto. It's President Barack Obama announcing his plans to tackle climate change by slashing carbon emissions over the next 15 years. So why is China's currency move rocking financial markets? People are looking at China. They're very concerned about growth. Hachi Mutaz, the number two in ISIS, the top deputy, was killed this week by a U.S. drone strike. McDonald's is cutting ties with one of its chicken suppliers after an animal rights group released a gruesome video. New York moved on Wednesday to raise the minimum wage for fast food workers to $15 an hour. General Electric is selling most of GE Capital as it focuses increasingly on its industrial business. The Colima volcano in Mexico has erupted, spewing ash and smoke 2,000 meters into the air. Volkswagen has ordered the recall of half a million cars because they've been fitted with illegal software to cheat emissions tests. The Pope's historic first ever journey to America began late this afternoon. And under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. And the Blue Jays can celebrate their first division title in 22 years. McDonald's began serving breakfast all day long. Anheuser-Busch InBev says it will take over SAB Miller for $107 billion. This new report released today by the World Health Organization found that often beloved meats like sausage, bacon, ham, and hot dogs can cause certain types of cancer. Chinese wines are still mainly 99% consumed within China. There's strong demand for, Chinese, for, for wine in China. Keurig Green Mountain is now hitching its wagon to fizzy bubbles. The Dutch Safety Board concludes that flight MH17 was downed by a missile. A horrifying night in Paris, but at least four attacks, 100 have been found dead inside that concert hall. Keystone XL pipeline 
would not serve the national interests of the United States. The FDA is just approving the sale of genetically modified salmon, saying there are no, quote, biologically relevant differences in the nutritional profile. One of the priorities for you was to have a cabinet that was gender balanced. Why was that so important to you? Because it's 2015. Please.